All right, I'm Matt. And I'm Rubia. And this is Sound Like on Anderton's TV. <laughs> Hi Matthew. Hi Rebea. How are you? I'm good, I'm good man. Are you? I'm alright, I'm pretty excited about this one. It's going to be pretty good. This is Sound Like Mark Tremonte. Without busting the bank. Exactly. You may remember the very, very first Sound Like episode where yeah. we sounded like Alt Bridge. We did, we did label it Mark Tremonte at the time, but then we realised that we shouldn't have done because Tremont, Mark Tremonte is his own artist and Alter Bridge is a separate band. And so. also, it's arguably been enough time now. It's mm. been about three and a half years, well, nearly four years since that one came out. So it's been a while, Mark. Yeah. So we're going to do an Alter Bridge by busting, but this is Mark Tremonti without busting. So all exclusively Mark Tremonti riffs. Yep. Um, and we're just going to try and give it a go. See yes. how well we do. Let's do that, shall we? In the land <laughs> of PRS SE. We are, and we're looking for a Funnily enough, a Tremonti. Yes, it's on an epic deal at 5.49, and believe it or not, two of them have been sold today. But we have shipped one in from the warehouse, we've ordered it, which you can do yourselves. Um, it looks kind of similar to this. This is a Zax Myers um, semi-hollow, but similar vibe, similar guitar. It's just not a semi-hollow, and as I say, we would have been able to get it, um, but two that. of them have been bought, so we're having to get one down from the warehouse, which will be here in a little while. If I do this, we could just pretend it's Yeah, it, it looks almost identical. So, go. yeah, 549. Um, that's a pretty decent price. Great. So, value. let's go and get an amplifier. Let's do that. In the land of amplifiers. Yeah, so we have our guitar. Now we're looking for an amp. Yes. And there is one that springs to mind. That would be the Paul Reed Smith MT15. Yes, that's the Mark Tremonti 15. Mark Tremonti, because that's his name. 15, because that's the wattage. <laughs> so, there you go. This is Mark Tremonti's signature amplifier, brought it out uh, maybe it's two years eight, ago now, eight, year and a half. Nam 18, I think. Yeah. Now this is £476. Making it perfect for our without busting the bank bougie. The only thing we need to be mindful of is we need a cab and we can only really afford to get a 1x12 cab. Fine. Well, I think there's some Laney cabs yes, which the, are reasonably affordable yeah, and 112s. Yeah, because they do have a matching cab but it's pushing, it pushes the price of the head and cab up to nearly £800, which is too much it's for too much one for element of the rig. Yes. Alright, well let's go and try and find a cab, shall we? Okay. Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, so we found a Laney Lionheart 1x12. Yeah. Which we think will sound fantastic with the MT15 head. Yeah, because I think the, the speaker in it's pretty decent. Um, and it's a little bit more than I suppose, I suppose we wanted to spend because there's an Ignited Tweaker here, £219. So that's an extra. Uh, you're saving 80 quid there. It is. But, but however, I think with the pedals, if we're yeah. smart, we can get this sussed. Because we were saying that we need. We've got the amp, we've got the guitar, we've got the cab, and yeah. so I think we're on about 13.50, 13.30. So we need a wild pedal. There's the 845 Which by is Vox. the trusty 70 quid, 60 quid It's about quid 70 thing. quid, yeah. so that leaves us about 100 quid left for delay reverb. Yes. So what about the landlord effects? So I think the delay is 50 and the, and the reverb is 40. Well then we'd just be about 10 squids under budget. Let's go and collect it all up and see if that'll work. All right. Landlord pedals down here. We've got the uh, tap room delay, and there's the banging hangover reverb, and that that takes us to 90 pounds on those two pedals. Fine. And then 845 wire is about 65. Yeah. I think we're about 15 quid short. So good job the Tremonti uh, SE is on an epic deal. It is a good job because that would have pushed us way over. It's 549, so pretty fortunate. Yeah. All right. Should we go and see what it sounds like? Let's do that.
We're back in the video room. Yes, we are in this modern rock adventure to sound like Mark Tremonti. It's like you knew you were going to say that. I actually didn't. I just yeah. came up with it straight on the spot. It was great. I enjoyed it. Thanks, man. Going to caveat this episode, this bit of playing, just by saying the dust solo is really hard and we just had to work it out just there and then and it was really hard. So it's not exactly right. And I apologize for that, all you purists out there. But hopefully it was reminiscent of that particular piece of music. Yeah. I mean, I think Rabir did exceptionally well. Um, and if Mark, if Mark, if you're watching, there you go. No, no, don't be do it. Let's, let's not. Let's not do that. But anyway. Anywho. We, um, um, we've, you've got a rig you should probably mention before we start on mine. I, we didn't cover this in the store, but I decided last second to just compliment Mark over his rig with my own. A bit simpler, but similar. And I'm really happy with it. But first things first, let's talk about yours. Right, okay. I was going to say, you know what's really funny? I posted a photo the other day on my Instagram of me when I was 15 and everyone thought I looked like Mark Tremonti. So I'm going to post that on screen somewhere now so you can all make decide for yourselves. Really? Apparently I look like a young Mark Tremonti, so... Rabia Tremonti. Not right now, of course, but back then. <laughs> Anyway, this is the PRS SE Tremonti. This is on an epic deal at 539, is it? 549, I think. 549. And um, basically, it's a great guitar. This is in like a charcoal, sort of dark noir. It's like a quilt almost. Yeah. And it's a it's like a, it's like a you know, single cut. You know, you got two volume, two tone, three way switch, double humbucker. You got this trem. I've taken the back off because we had to put 11 to 54 on. So you can see inside there, you got a nice fat trem block for good sustain. Um, four springs loaded in, so it's good tension. And to be honest, it was quite quick and easy to tune back up. It's a really, really solid guitar. It is, and it sounds fat. Also helps having the clarity because you've got the trem, and so it's a floating trem system. It just gives you a little bit more bite. So, yeah, basically, that's what that is. Um, that runs straight into the PRS uh, MT15, which is a two channel amplifier with dedicated EQs, a lead channel and a clean channel. You've got a, pull, a treble pull boost for your clean channel if you want to have like a crunchy thing going on. And then tons of gain, like tons of gain. And for a 15 watt amplifier, it's pretty damn loud as well. Um, running into this Laney 1x12, Lionheart 1x12 which sounds really nice. It's a nice little half stack, to be honest. It is, it's a great little rig. Yeah, and then in the loop, we've got the um, Landlord Tap Room and the Landlord Banging Hanover. Hangover. Hangover. Hanover is a place near Brighton. It is a place near Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> um, and these are really, really affordable um, pedals. Basically, I think the Tap Room, I think it's the Banging Hangover is like 40 pounds. And the other one's 50. And the other one's, yeah, 50 yeah, pounds. Yeah. Um, and but they're in the loop. That, they were really handy for squeezing into the budget, and I think we're about 20 quid short of the £1,500 target. Yeah, we are. So really, when you consider what you're getting here, half stack, couple guitar, a couple of pedals. And a great, massive sounding rig. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll demonstrate right now. Um... <laughs> So yeah, this is the clean channel, and this is for Dust's intro, we just used a bit of the two, reverb and delay, and this is in C sharp standard. Yes. So it's like that.
I really like down tuned guitars in a stand. It's like it reminds me of the we're, baritone. We're, we're almost at baritone at this, yeah. at this stage. Yeah, uh, and it just sounds really nice. And I think that's one of the things I enjoy with the reverb and delay. And to be honest, a lot of Tremonti's cleaner riffs are quite melodic they're, and They're quite nice, pretty feelsy. intricate, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's the kind of clean sound we've got going on. We'll do some sweeps so you can see the EQ settings if you've got this amp. If we switch it over to the lead channel and it will probably feed back because I'm sat so close to I it. I didn't know the light changed colour. Oh, did you not? No, look so at that. So blue for blue. clean and red for gain. Um, and you get a little thing on the ceiling. If you... Yeah, and this is the sound straight in. And then with the reverb and delay, you can get the lead. So that's the head. The cab is a Laney 112. It's got a G12H 75th anniversary speaker in there. It is worth mentioning as well that you can get the PRS matching cab. Which um, we would have got. We would have got. Not in stock at the moment, but we'll stick a link in the description box. Um, they're actually a little cheaper, mm -hmm. um, so check that out. So lots of gain on tap. Yes, and you get pretty close, obviously, given it's a signature head, you get, it's kind of Mark Tremonte in a can. <laughs> That was the gain at halfway. We did actually not use the 845 wah. Um, a lot of you probably screaming at, this, at the TV saying, why didn't you play that riff? Why didn't you play this riff? Why didn't you do that solo and stuff? There's so many. There are so many. Um, and this is a without bus in the bank. We try to filter it down to, I guess, a bit of old school and new school, don't we? But we do, the wah will be in the description box below. Yeah. He, do, he is quite well known for his wah solos. He's wah, wah known. Wah known. <laughs> Right, so onto my little rig over here. Um, this is the PRS SE Zach Myers signature. Um, and I mean, they're pretty, pretty similar. That was the thinking that it's, you know, similarly in the same kind of vein. This is obviously semi hollow with a different bridge. Uh, it's got this nice wraparound bridge with brass saddles on, really nice. And the Cluson style tuners, which mm. differ to your, um, you know, just solid body metal things. Mm -hmm. um, but Similar guitar, interestingly the volume knob is in a different place, <laughs> but apart from that yeah. we're uh, pretty bang on. And that's running straight into the Fender Bass Breaker 30R behind me, um, which we've used many, many a time, and that's the, this is the new version. Um, it sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> something nice about hearing an open E chord down in a tuning like that. It's, it is. I mean, you can noodle it around as much as you want, but playing an E yeah. in low Well, tunings, actually, it would be a C sharp, wouldn't it? it C sharp major. An E. <laughs> e, e shape. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's, that's what that sounds like. So I was just playing the... There's a lot of rhythm guitar on the Mark Tremonti solo records, so yeah. um, filling in there. And, and also, like, the rig itself is... You know, well within a fifteen hundred pound budget. Well within, yeah, and it sounds on its own. Really, it sounds. I think it really stands up. Mm. Um, so really, really pleased with how this came out. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there you go. Um, we really, really hope you've enjoyed this episode of Sound Like Mark Tremonti Without Busting the Bank. Um, we will put links in the description box below for the gear we've used. Yes, and let us know who else you'd like us to sound like, or at least do our very damnedest. It is worth saying we'll be doing a by-busting of Alter Bridge. Um, we will. And a by-busting of Mark Tremonti, which obviously is two very different... Yeah. Well, they, they are different. They're different bands and different guitarists and stuff like that. And so you've got to include Miles. Yeah, we do have to have yeah. get a bit of miles in there. Miles for miles. Yeah, we'll get miles, miles out of that rig. Miles. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, I think that's all that's left to say is I've been Rabia <laughs> and I've been Matt, and this has been Sound Like on Anderton's TV. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> what was that?